So we're reviewing for our test tomorrow, 2.1 to 2.3. All right, so the first part of this review is going to go pretty quick. All right, and then we're going to get to the last part, which is where we're seeing still some mistakes with reflections and rotations. All right, so terms and definitions. Let's go ahead and we're just going to uh, verbalize. We're going to answer these questions together, everybody together. We're going to answer each question. Translation is a type of transformation that what? Um, slides. slides. A reflection does what? Flips. Flips. A rotation turns. turns. A figure will either rotate 90, 180, 180 or 270. After the figure is translated, the new figure is called image. image. The sum of the angle measures of a triangle are 180 degrees. All right, when reflecting across the x-axis, you take the opposite of which value? The y value. When you reflect across y, you take the opposite of x. Okay, so we're going to see what that looks like in ordered pairs in a minute. Okay, all right, so if I have the ordered pair, negative 4, 5, and negative 4, negative 5, which axis is reflected? How do you know that it's the x-axis? Because there's the y's are opposite, so if the y's are opposite, I reflected x. All right, it's just the other one, okay? All right, and then the real-life examples are going to be on your test also, so make sure you know those. All right, go ahead and write down your answer on the screen. So your answers on your review sheet that you're writing are going to match the YouTube video, okay? So if you're like, why did I write, you know, fill in the blank? Well, you can go back and say, oh, that's because that was the first uh, slide on the review. All right, so who thinks they know the answer? Ethan, what is it? Okay, he says it's a rotation. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, it is a rotation. Can anybody tell me what direction and degree? What direction and degree would it be? Joshua? Very good, 90 degrees clockwise. On your test, all you have to say is rotation. Rotation. All right, very good, guys. All right, so that is a rotation. All right, what about the next one? What about the next one? What's this one? Okay, what's this one? Sarah? Um, no, not rotated. Look, look again. What do you think? It's not rotated, but it's translated. Very good. All right, so we're going to write translated on this one. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. And what about this one? Okay, now before you jump and think that you know what it is, okay, it could potentially be none of them. But if it's none of them, you have to know why. It could be a reflection, probably. That's, that's the, you know, one that kind of looks like. Or a translation or a rotation. What do you think? What do you think, Trey? None of them because of the, like, the size changes. Very good. The size changes, which is what type of transformation? It's a dilation. Which, have we even learned that yet? No, we haven't even learned dilations yet. So this is none. It's actually dilation, but we learned those in 2.5. That's in the next unit. All right, last one. Maya? It is a reflection. Very good, because the faces are facing each other, so it's going to be a reflection. Reflection. Good job, guys. All right, so you have a whole section on your test that's just identify the figures. Then you have a whole section on your test where you are going to use the ordered pairs to translate. Okay? Um, translate, reflect, and rotate. There are four questions like this on your test. Now, for the sake of time, we don't have time to graph all of these. Would you agree? We don't have time to graph them. Um, I am going to show it to you on a graph just so we can have it on the PowerPoint and on the YouTube video. But what I want you to do is I want you to try to come up with the ordered pair that would be translated from W, okay? So here's my key. This is what, what tells me where it's going. 
Now you write what the new ordered pair for W is going to be. And then do the same thing for X, Y, and Z. Okay, so for point, I don't know who, who uh, might not have the answer. Okay, so for point W, if I'm moving three units right, am I changing the X value or the Y value? I'm changing X because I'm going right. Remember, X is right and left, okay? So I'm changing the X value. It says three units right. So if I'm going right, is that positive or negative? Positive. positive. So I'm adding three. So Logan, what's my ordered pair? No interceptions. Okay, what is it going to be? No, no, not quite. Sarah, what do you think? Four, two, because since I'm going three units to the right, I'm adding three. It's going to be four, two. All right. Um, let's see. Logan, throw it to Anthony. Anthony, what do you think for X? Four, four. Four, four. Very good. Um, Anthony, go ahead and toss it over to Joshua. All right. What's, gonna, what's Y going to be? Oh, um, seven, four. Seven, four. And then what about Z? Oh, seven, two. Okay, so Z is 7, 2. All right, so guys, here's what it looks like on the graph. Okay, um, give me the, um, let's see here. All right, so I need to unfreeze that. Um, give me the first point. I'm going to need y'all's help. What, what was the first point on the original figure? No, the first point is 1, 2, then 1, 4, then 4, 4. All right, so over 1, up 2, over 1, 1, 4, and then 4, 4, and then 4, 2. Okay, and that went W, X, Y, and Z. W, X, um, Y, and Z, I believe. Okay, all right, so this is what it would look like had you graphed it, okay? Had you have graphed it, this is what your original figure looks like. Now you're going to translate it, and it said three units to the right, correct? Okay, so I'm actually going to need to go out a couple more. All right, now here's why labeling your points are so important, because I can clearly see now that I'm moving my X, one, two, three, so my X is now on the same point as y was. All right, so that's my new x. And then my y goes 1, 2, 1, oh, sorry, 1, 2, 3 over. So this is my new y and my new z. All right, and then my new w, again, goes right on top of the z. And then this is my translated, and I can just do like a dotted line. I saw a lot of people yesterday on the quiz do those dotted lines. Awesome. Okay, if you do a solid line too, that's fine. As long as you're labeling your points. Labeling your points is so important. If you don't label your points, I can tell generally that you understood, but I can't tell for sure um, that you plotted the correct ones in the right spot. All right, so I translated the figure right three units. Any questions? All right, now reflections. Using ordered pairs to reflect. Again, if you figure out the coordinates first, then it's just a matter of, okay, well, I just need to plot the points. Well, how do you figure out where your reflected figure is going to go? The, uh, the point of reflection tells me. So if I'm reflecting across the y-axis, don't say it out loud, what is going to happen to my first ordered pair of W, 1, 2? Okay, so if I'm reflecting across the y-axis, what's my new point W going to be? Write it down. Write it down on your papers. Caitlin, you think you know? No? Anybody think they know? All right, Ethan? Okay, what's it going to be? W is 1, negative 2. No, it is not. Anthony? Negative one, two. Negative one, two. Why did we do the opposite of X? Because if we reflect across the Y axis, are you listening? If we reflect across the Y axis, we do the opposite of X. All right. So now X. 
What's x going to be? Just tell me. Oh, Trey. Keep them in the same order. Negative 1, 4. Again, I'm reflecting across y, so I do the opposite of x. All right. What about my y value? Negative 4, 4. And what about my z value? Negative 4, 2. Okay. All right, do you understand why, guys? Listen, I could have done the exact same thing and reflected across the x-axis, and then I would have done the opposite of y instead of x. All right, you see that? Okay. Um, I had a lot of people do the reflection over the wrong axis yesterday on your quiz. Don't do that. All right, let's talk rotations. Here's where we're really going to use our key. The key that's written up on the board Okay, the key that's in your notes, if you're watching the YouTube video, you need to have your notes out so you're looking at the key while we're doing these problems. Okay, so your key tells you, what am I doing to the original XY pair? Am I reversing them and then doing an opposite sign of one of the values? Am I keeping them in the same, um, in the same order except doing opposite values? What am I doing? Okay, so here's, here's what we're doing for these three. I take the same ordered pair, the same original ordered pair, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, 180 degrees either way, doesn't matter, and I'm going to go 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'm going to rotate these three points, all three of these directions. I'm just practicing rotations, okay? I'm practicing these rotations. All right, guys, so if we're rotating the figure 90 degrees Clockwise, who thinks they know? Who thinks they know? Someone new? All right, Sherelle. Okay, if I'm going 90 degrees um, clockwise, Sherelle, what's point A going to be? All right, she says 2, 4. Do you agree? Do you agree? Absolutely, because she reversed the order and did the opposite of X. And that's what my key says to do. All right, so class, what's B going to be? 2, 2. two, two. two, two. What's C going to be? 4, three. Four, 3. All right, who got all three of those correct? Okay, so this, guys, this is going to be the difference between my, um, all right, so let's kind of break it down on the test. The front page, if you, you know, do poorly on the front page, which pretty much everybody did very well on the front page of the quiz, so I would expect the same on the test, we're looking at not good for the rest of the test, okay? If you get your graphs, you should at least pass the test if you get your graphs on the second page. The third page is going to be the difference between a, an A and a B, okay? Or maybe even a high C. So you being able to crack these rotations and get the, I say crack the code, okay? Get the order correct. That's going to be my A papers tomorrow are going to get these right. If you don't get these right, it's probably going to be a B or a C. Does that make sense? All right, but you still pass as long as you get your graphs and other things. All right, so 180, what happens when I'm going 180? All right, so Elizabeth, what's my point A? Four, negative two. Okay, you're close, but... Oh, no, no, you're right, you're right. It's four, negative two. I did the opposite of both. Very good. All right, so everybody, what's my point B going to be? Two, negative two. Two, negative two, and then my point C? Three, negative four. Awesome. Okay, and the last one. Is anybody not gone? Mason, have you gone? All right, Mason. Okay, what's point um, A going to be? What's point A going to be? For the last one, 90 degrees counterclockwise. If I'm going 90 degrees counterclockwise, what's point A going to be? All right, he says 2, negative 4. Do you agree? No. No. All right, so we do switch it, but which value do we do the opposite? The, the Y value. So Y was positive 2 on point A, so now it's negative 2, and X stays the same, negative 4. Who got that right? Negative 2, negative 4. Awesome. Okay, everyone, what about point B? Negative 2 to negative 2. Awesome. And point C? Negative 4, negative 3. 
Guys, awesome. All right, so this is definitely the most challenging part of the test. You also, this is from your review sheet, straight from your review sheet. We went over the answers uh, during homework review. You have five questions on your test that are not worth a full um, test question. So your test questions are worth four points each. Is everybody listening? Your review questions, there are five of them, are worth two points each. Okay? So 10 points of your test grade is review from chapter one. You will have uh, four equa no, three equations and two to solve for y, I believe. Or maybe it's four equations, but you have equations and then you have a problem where you solve for y. Okay, you do have a bonus question also. So that'll be your test for tomorrow. If you understand that, you should be ready for your test over 2.1 to 2.3.